Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Try to Thrive, and right now we are about to cover more Planet Zoo news because it just keeps on coming. Um, on my recent, my uh, previous video, I did a video where I talked about all leaked and uh, unspecified animals revealed through the game, uh, through articles and whatnot. So far, that video has actually gotten a lot of views. It's only it was only about an hour ago, so I'm not gonna lie. The last two days, I have been pumping out videos. I did five in total. One of them got deleted. Um, pretty sure no one saw that by the time it was deleted. But yeah, I'm I'm exhausted, but I'm happy to keep doing more because right now there is some more Planet Zoo news. Not much, thank gosh. This will be, this will be a very toned down, easier video. Today we got two new screenshots. Well, I think one of them was released yesterday. I don't I I wasn't paying attention and I didn't see it, but. Now I've seen it, there are two screenshots, both really cool, and uh, yeah, that's what we're here to talk about. Something super easy, but every time it's Planet Zoo news, I'm the guy to keep going for it. I don't take breaks. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's start talking about those new screenshots. Alright, here we are at the uh, E3 gameplay demo, looking at some beautiful black wildebeest and zebras. So that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the new screenshots, and uh, I figured we'd start with the uh, least, uh, well yeah, the least exciting of the two. Um, it is a new Lesser Antillian Iguana screenshot. We got this from the uh, three animal gif questions where, you know, they show the three animals we've already seen. We have to, uh, you know, vote on it and boom, we get a new screenshot most of the time. Uh, still waiting for a new Galapagos tortoise screenshot. It's still one of my favorite animals in the game and every single time it's appeared, it has not won the vote. It's just a matter of time because I really want to get another look at it. Just, just saying. Anyway, Lesser Antillian Iguana. Here's the new screenshot. Um, they posted this saying, Lesser Antillian Iguanas are mainly herbivores. They feed on fruit, flowers, leaves, and growing shoots of more than 100 different types of plant. Okay, so this screenshot, just like the last uh, Lesser Antillian Iguana screenshot we got, is basically the same. I mean, it's just it's just another picture of it. There's really nothing new and exciting we could pull from this. I guess one, one thing different is it's in the water. That's, I mean, that's, that's something. But it's still the same iguanas, the same tank, etc. I'm just waiting for more real new screenshots. But this is still cool, though. Um, uh, last I checked, I believe this was found on Reddit. Um, it's worth, if, just in case you didn't hear, I believe Bo said that the uh, vervarium animals will not actually be moving around. And that kind of sucks, but at the exact same time, it makes sense. I understand why it would require a whole nother level of animals moving around and whatnot, but, you know, it's, I mean, it's fine. But what does kind of bother me from also what I heard on Reddit is that all the tanks are going to be the exact same size. That's kind of, um, really? I and mean, that's one thing that would be an easy fix. But really? I mean, so we put our Brazilian wandering spiders in the tank that's the exact same size as the iguana? I mean, what would be the purpose? It's just... It's weird, but uh, also luckily one good thing you can do with these herbariums is move things into it. So if you want to enclose a certain part of the exhibit and place it up in like a herbarium, you could, I mean, or in a, yeah, in a reptile house, you could totally do that. So you can like, like, smash of giant rocks and shift it into, shift it around the herbarium until you get a certain section of it perf uh, open with one animal in it, perfect for the uh, tanks, or sorry, the houses, reptile houses. That's what I imagine we could do. And I think we, I, I think she already said we can, so. Yeah, other, I kind of jambled on about things that weren't even about the screenshot, but there's just nothing to really pull from it. It's just another Lesser Antillian Iguana screenshot. Still, keeping my fingers crossed for uh, other new screenshots. I mean, at least it wasn't like a repeat of the screenshot. I, was, I, I can be grateful about that, but um, the only thing you can really pull from this is just the water. But uh, yeah. Alright, so now I think we should move on to the more exciting screenshot a very cool screenshot indeed um this screenshot was of the steam train that we'll have in our zoos and uh sorry i'm trying to pull up it right now so i can okay yeah here it is all right the, here's the new screenshot of the train and they put and they posted this through email about the weather journal saying small steam train check out this brand new screenshot of the small steam train transport rides are a great way for your guests to get quickly tra uh to sorry Guests to quickly travel across your zoo whilst enjoying the fantastic view. Okay, it looks really good. This is, a, this is the best and actually one of the first official screenshots we've ever gotten of the train where it actually focused on it. Coincidentally, not too long ago, we got a uh, screenshot of the station itself, like a really good screenshot of it, and now we got our look, a really good look at the train. It looks really good, it looks like a zoo train. Um, 
but last I checked, you can customize the colors of it, so I'm looking forward to that. It'd be really cool if you could, like, add animal skin textures to the, to the colors of the train. Like, like, have a le leopard spot theme train. It'd probably be a little too colorful, but, um, I would definitely love adding animal patterns, and even if it's not in the game at launch, that's something they could totally add down the line. But, um, this train's clearly parked in the station. There's, there's, there's no one there. But um, it just looks really good, and what really impresses me is the station. Look at the reflection, look at the shadows, and the glass ceiling up above. Oh, it looks so good. I cannot wait to just start building. <laughs> Isn't that what everyone wants to do? Just, I don't know. But uh, glass definitely seems to be an improvement in this game compared to Planet Coaster. Um, also, I'm very, I reckon the way we place and build our trains will be the exact same way you do in Planet Coaster. You know, you plop it down, you can move the tracks around. It's probably going to be, like, what's kind of cool is they've taken something from Planet Coaster and shifted it into Planet Zoo. So, I'm not, I don't want to jump ahead too far here, but let's just say there was a third, and there might, they may be already, there may be a third Planet franchise game already in the works. Maybe what they could do is transfer something from Planet Zoo into that. So, it's like a continuous... Uh, it's like a family. They continually spread the genes. <laughs> I guess so. You take the uh, how you set up vehicles and planet coaster into planet zoo. Like animals in planet zoo, planet whatever planet water park. That'd be oh, that'd be a really cool. One I've heard some people uh, wanted maybe planet city. I guess. Um, but yeah. So that that was the uh, new uh, the steam train screenshot. I, I think it looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wonder what other vehicles though could pose potential implementation into the game. What else? Like, boat rides? Very possible indeed. I've seen a couple of those do that. Like, the uh, the Columbus Zoo had something like that. Um, can't, maybe helicopters? I don't know. There was that small Jeep, that yellow Jeep we saw in the, a previous screenshot that we thought, maybe we thought that the uh, zookeepers could use to actually get around the zoo. That'd be kind of cool. Um, have you seen helicopters? Uh, golf carts, like zoo themed golf carts for your. That, I would prefer that over Jeeps for the zookeepers, just having a small little zookeeper golf carts that just plop themselves right in and zoom around the zoo. It'd be like, and it's all animal themed. It's like an, it's an animal themed colored golf cart. That would be super cool and I would absolutely love that. But so far, all we know is the safari truck ride, customizable, and the steam train, customizable. I'm sure there's got to be at least one more set of vehicle. But uh, other than that, though, that that was the two new screenshots. If you did decide to finish watching this video, thank you so much. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. I really, I'm one subscriber away from 40, and it means so much to me. As soon as I reach 40, I will be publishing a video, a very big video that I've been working on. It is a tour, a, a fully edited tour of my local zoo, the Brevard Zoo here in Melbourne, Florida. And uh, I'd love to share it with everyone, but I just got to reach 40 subscribers. And I'm just one away from it. Just one. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Evan, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video, and have a terrific day.